Welcome to my YouTube channel Auto Vehicle Info. In today's video, we're diving deep into one of the most powerful and iconic fighter aircraft in the Indian Air Force arsenal of the Sukhoi Su 30MK. With a special focus on its 2025 upgrades and capabilities, this aircraft has been the backbone of India's air superiority for years, and now, with the latest modernization and indigenous enhancements, it has become even more formidable. Originally developed by Russia's Sukhoi Design Bureau and customized for India by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, the Su 30MK is a twin engine, multiro, air superiority fighter. What makes this jet unique is the perfect blend of Russian airframe and Indian, French, Israeli, and now more indigenous technologies. As of 2025, the aircraft is seeing a new phase of evolution under India's Super Sukhoi program, which is aimed at significantly upgrading its avionics, radar systems, weapons, and survivability. Let's start with the airframe and design. The Su-30 Mk's airframe remains largely unchanged because it already offers excellent agility with thrust vectoring engines and canards. The aircraft is known for its super maneuverability, allowing it to perform complex aerial maneuvers such as the Pugashiv's Cobra and the Kalban which are nearly impossible for most other aircraft. This agility gives it an edge in dogfights and close combat scenarios. Now moving to one of the most important areas of enhancement in 2025 are the avionics and radar. The older N011M BARS radar system is now being gradually replaced with a more advanced ACE radar, developed by India's DRDO in collaboration with HAL and Bell. This ACE radar dramatically improves target detection and tracking, with the ability to track multiple targets simultaneously over a much larger range. This gives the pilot superior situational awareness and enables the aircraft to engage threats before they can even detect the Su-30 MK. Another major leap forward in 2025 is the cockpit and user interface. The upgraded Su-30 MK features a new digital glass cockpit, equipped with large multifunction displays, improved heads-up display, HUD and enhanced control systems for reduced pilot workload. The avionics suite now integrates better with India's network-centric warfare systems, allowing seamless communication and data sharing with other fighter jets, AWACS, and ground control units. Let's talk about weapons. The Su-30 MK was already known for carrying a massive payload of up to 8 tons, and now it supports even more advanced weaponry. Indigenous weapons like the Astra MK-1 and MK-2 air-to-air missiles are now fully integrated and operational. These missiles offer beyond visual range, BVR, engagement capabilities, with active radar homing and high kill probabilities. India's long-range air-to-ground missile, the Ryudram-1, and the upcoming Ryudram-2 for suppression of enemy air defenses, said, Missions have also been integrated. Perhaps the biggest headline in terms of weapons is the integration of the Brahmos A missile. This air-launched variant of the world's fastest supersonic cruise missile is a game-changer, capable of hitting targets more than 400 kilometers away with pinpoint accuracy. Brahmos gives the Su-30 MK a lethal strike capability against naval and ground targets. The integration process was complex due to the size and weight of the missile but now it's operational and has significantly enhanced India's deterrence capability. In addition to kinetic weapons, the Su-30 MK is also being fitted with electronic warfare pods, DRDO's advanced self-protection jammer, and towed decoys. These upgrades ensure higher survivability in contested airspace, especially in scenarios involving enemy radar-guided missiles and surface-to-air systems. The engines are still the AL-31 FP turbofan engines from Russia, but with improvements in reliability and maintenance through HAL's service programs. While there's ongoing discussion about replacing these with more advanced engines in the future, the current ones are still powerful enough to provide the thrust vectoring and range that make the Su-30 MK so effective. These engines enable a top speed of Mach 2 in a combat radius of about 1,500 kilometers 
which can be extended with in-flight refueling. The 2025 Su-30 MK also benefits from India's Make in India initiative. Over 75% of the aircraft's parts are now being sourced or manufactured domestically. This not only reduces dependency on foreign suppliers but also brings down maintenance costs and turnaround time. Hell is now focusing on creating more modular and upgradable components which will allow future upgrades to be faster and more efficient. In terms of operational roles, the Su-30 MK is incredibly versatile. It performs air dominance missions, precision ground strikes, maritime strike roles, and even reconnaissance. Its large size allows it to carry a variety of mission payloads, from bombs and missiles to sensor pods and electronic warfare equipment. With buddy refueling pods, it can even serve as a tanker for other aircraft in emergencies. Let's not forget the international interest the Su-30 MK has generated. Several countries have shown interest in similar variants of the aircraft, and India is now looking to export customized versions to friendly nations. With the new 2025 upgrades, the aircraft remains competitive even against newer 4.5th and 5th generation fighters in certain mission profiles. From an operational perspective, Su-30 MKs have been heavily deployed along India's northern and eastern borders, particularly in response to tensions with China and Pakistan. Their presence sucks as a major deterrent, and the upgraded systems now provide even more confidence to the Indian Air Force. The aircraft also frequently takes part in multinational exercises like Garuda with France, Indra with Russia, and Cope India with the United States showcasing its capabilities on the world stage. In conclusion, the 2025 version of the Sukhoi Su-30 MK is not just a fighter jet up, it is a symbol of India's air power and technological ambition. With state-of-the-art upgrades, indigenous systems, and unmatched versatility, it will remain a central part of India's defense strategy for years to come. Whether in peacetime deterrence or high-stakes conflict scenarios, the Super Sukhoi stands as a guardian of the skies. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Auto Vehicle Info. Let me know in the comments what aircraft or defense system you'd like me to cover next. See you in the next video.